So these are the newly released series of webcams by Insta360. This is the Link 2 and the Link 2C. The Link 2 comes in at $199 and the 2C comes in at $149. Let's go ahead and take a look at the design for both of these and see which one is perfect for you. Okay, now both of these share the same video, audio, AI capabilities and gesture controls. So no matter which one you go for, you are going to get the best quality webcam for your video conferencing or content creation needs. Let's just take a quick look at the design. Both of these come with a magnetic base. They do have a quarter 20 inch thread here, which you can mount on the two in one tripod as well. If you wanted to switch it to portrait view, they come with a magnetic base on the top. So it very easily clips onto the top and it's easy to just mount on this and then onto your monitor. Now in terms of the design, you can see that the Link 2 comes with this two axis gimbal that rotates and the Link 2C is a stationary webcam. And in terms of privacy settings with the Link 2, once it's on standby for 10 seconds, then it automatically faces downwards, giving you full privacy. Whereas the Link 2C is a manual switch just on the side. You slide that down and this will close off the camera. Now, although both of these webcams are absolutely great, I would say go for the Link 2 if you do want a wider motion of range. And this is going to be perfect for those dynamic use cases like online educators or content creators. Whereas the Link 2C, which is the non-gimbal version, is ideal for stationary scenarios such as personal conferencing, if you are working from home, and just minimal movement scenarios, focusing on just automatic zoom and framing. Now, although the Link 2C doesn't have AI tracking because it doesn't have a gimbal, it does offer auto framing, which actually keeps you and up to three people center frame, which is a very convenient feature to have. There are subtle differences between both of them as well, which I'm just bringing up onto the screen now. And you can see with the gimbal, the AI tracking for the Link 2 allows you to do that with single and group mode. So if you have multiple people in the shot and it also has something called a pause track area. So if you want it to pause the rotation of the gimbal at a certain point when you are moving around, you can actually set that on the Insta360 Link controller app as well, which I will be showcasing. And like I mentioned, the privacy modes are automatic for the Link 2 and manual for the 2C. These are very minor details of the differences between these two. So it's completely up to you which one would suit your needs most. And because both offer the same superior video and audio quality, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Link 2 as an example in this video just to show you its capabilities. Okay, so let's dive in to the Insta360 Link controller app. You can see I have my webcam set up there. It's got this nice green LED ring. It flashes when you do use gesture controls as well, but you can use this app to start doing all of those gestures automatically with a few clicks. Now you can see the quality looks great. I've got it set to 1080p, but this goes all the way to 4K at 30 frames per second. And I'll leave a link in the description down below as well of where you can download the updated Link Controller app as well. You have a joystick control on the top right, so it's very easy. With a few clicks, you can just reposition yourself. You can actually zoom in from here. And the quality on the 4K is great. And I'll show you a side-by-side -side comparison with my MacBook Pro camera, as well as the Link 2 camera. Now you have some effects as well. You can change the exposure if you feel like it's too bright. So you can play around with this. You've got autofocus set to auto, or you can do it to manual, as well as the temperature. And there's a whole bunch of controls here as well if you just wanna go a little bit more advanced. And then you have the option for HDR as well. So if you face the camera towards a window where there's a lot of sunlight coming in, sometimes you as a subject are very dark. In fact, I have a window next to me, so let me try and reposition this with the joystick facing outwards here. And I will stand in front of it. And if I turn on HDR, it just makes me a lot clearer. So it wipes out all of the darkness and the shadows, as well as seeing a lot of the outdoors as well. In traditional cameras, that's not the case and it will just make you very dark. Pause track area is a feature specific just to the Link 2. This does a little panoramic shot of your room and you can set it to pause at a specific point. I just do plus. I can set where I would like it to stop tracking me when I do move around. So maybe towards where the door is just over here. And then I can close that. So when I start AI tracking, it won't go past that. And now if we take a look at some more options here, this just shows you what the gestures are. You can turn gesture control off as well. If you wanted to horizontal flip the video, you can do that. And then you have plenty of other options down here. 
Now at the bottom, if you do have a whiteboard next to you and you want the camera to focus on that and what you've written on the board, you have a whiteboard mode there as well. It can also just highlight only the whiteboard and not you with the smart whiteboard option. I don't have a whiteboard, so I can't really show that right now, but it does work very well. And if you look at the desk view, this will face the camera down and it will show you your desk. You may need to position the camera a little bit higher and you also have the option to just manually adjust it as well, but it may get in the way of your monitor. So you can actually move this around and just see where it fits perfectly. But in terms of showcasing things on the camera, I just wanted to point out the autofocus on this is very fast. Let me just show you an example. So I'm just gonna hold up the box. You can see how quick and easy that was. How clear is this? It just refocuses so fast, just like a, a native filming camera. I've not seen this with any laptop webcams or anything like that. I've seen a lot of the budget webcams out there. They do a lot of autofocus but they do it very slowly and this is just incredible. So no matter what I hold up, you can see it's almost as good as my phone. So that's a really big bonus. Okay, now I wanted to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the video quality with my MacBook Pro webcam, the internal FaceTime HD webcam and the Link 2. And you can just see on the screen how much of a difference it is. The quality, look how brighter the room looks with the Link 2. I've got that set to 4K, but obviously my internal webcam on my MacBook Pro is not 4K and that might be the case for whichever laptop that you have and you can just see it's a game changer basically. I've not seen any other webcam of this high quality so for me that is a very big bonus. Now of course as a comparison with AI tracking and gesture control it's not going to happen with my MacBook Pro but with the Link 2 it's very quick and easy. Hold up my palm and you can see the AI tracking has now started so I can move around very easily. And another gesture control, which I really like, is the zoom feature. So I just hold up an L symbol. I can go up and it zooms in even further. Look how great that looks and how clear I still am when I'm speaking to the link to. If I want to zoom out, I just need to do the L symbol and slowly go down. There we go, it's brilliant. So for me, you know, that is a great thing to have when you are going to get a gimbal based webcam. So now let's go ahead and test out the audio differences as well, because the MacBook Pro internal microphone is pretty strong, but the Link 2 microphone is kind of like a professional quality one as well. So I'm gonna record two clips from both microphones and let's go ahead and see how they compare. So this is a recording via my MacBook Pro. I'm using the webcam of my internal FaceTime HD camera on my MacBook Pro, as well as the internal microphone. And I'm standing about 50 centimeters away from the laptop. So this is how my audio will come out. So let's go ahead and now compare it with the next video. Now, this is a test of me recording a video using the Link Controller app, and I'm using the internal microphone on the Link 2 webcam. And as you can see, the video quality is very high and you may be able to hear a lot of the differences in the audio quality It's much sharper and it feels like I'm in a studio recording the audio. I no longer have to rely on my headphones to take really important meetings and phone calls with my apps. So this is a very big bonus and hopefully that gives you an indication of how great the audio quality is on the Insta360 Link 2 or Link 2C microphones. So there you saw how great the quality was on the Link 2. Compared to my MacBook Pro, it was unedited. It was straight from the recording and that's what I shared with you. Now, of course, like I mentioned, the audio quality is great, but what about if there's a lot of background noises coming from your environment? How does it perform with the audio quality then? This has multiple different modes. I think three modes, one for including the voice focus, so it captures basically your dialogue. Another one for voice suppression. So if there's lots of people talking at the same time behind you, then it will focus more on your voice and drown them out. And the last one is music balance. So if there's some background music playing as well, then it will kind of lighten that quite a lot and just focus on your voice. So I'm gonna try out some of those modes and see how much of the voice focus and voice suppression this link to webcam does and see how well that performs. Okay, so let's go ahead and try voice focus. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on that vacuum that's just behind me. 
and hopefully continue speaking and see how much of that noise gets drowned out. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Okay, so the vacuum is now playing in the background. Hopefully my audio from my voice is coming quite clearly because it's trying to focus directly on my dialogue. Now, I know in comparison with my MacBook Pro, you'll be able to hear a lot more of the vacuum, but this is doing a very good job isolating my voice specifically so that it doesn't interfere with all of the video calls that I'm taking. And hopefully this is a very good example because that vacuum cleaner is very loud. So let me go ahead and turn that back off and we'll move on to a comparison with how that sounds with my MacBook Pro's microphone. Okay, so this is now using my MacBook Pro. The vacuum is on full blast. So can you tell the difference? How much of that can you hear compared to how much of it you heard from the Link2 webcam? It basically eliminated all of that noise from the background on the Link2 webcam. And I was super impressed of how well that works. So hopefully that gives you an indication that if you do have a lot of background whilst you are taking your video calls and you're speaking, you wouldn't have to worry whatsoever with the Link2 series webcams. Okay, and the final test I'm going to do, because I don't have a lot of people behind me, so I can't test the group background noises, but I know it's going to work really well because this is quite similar. I'm going to play a song on my Spotify on my phone and I'll leave the phone on my desk as well. So I'll just press play. and I'll start the recording. Now this is the recording from the Link Controller app and the music is playing quite loud next to me on my desk. I can barely hear myself speak because the music is just interrupting me. I wouldn't be able to concentrate, but I know for a fact that it's drowned out pretty much all of that music that's playing right now and you won't be able to hear any of it. And that's just really amazing that it's focusing directly on my voice and not the dialogue in the singing from the music that's playing on Spotify. So for me, you know, what else can I say other than this is the best audio quality of any microphone on any webcam that I've tested. So really happy that Insta360 have put a lot of technology and focus on the audio quality as much as the video quality on the Link2 and Link2C. So that's it. Hopefully you found that very useful. Make sure to check the links in the description to find out all the latest pricing information, the latest key features and specifications of the Link2 and the Link2C if you are interested in buying this. For me, this is now my personal webcam that I'm using for all my working from home video conferencing needs. And I'm sure you will like it if you do try it yourself. Any questions, as always, ask them down below. And if you like this review, make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you all at the next one. Take care.